Hi you guys, welcome back to the Ninth Cup, my channel where I focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This is going to be the North Node, aka True Node reading for the sign of Aries. So if your North Node is in the sign of Aries or if you have a stellium in Aries, this could be your reading. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. And as a reminder, stelliums are three or more placements in one sign or in one house. Okay, Aries. So let's go ahead and see what we have for you. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. For those of you who have already sub subscribed, thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting on the videos. I appreciate all of your energy. And as a reminder, or just to let you know, if you're the first time here, the North Node, aka True Node, is all about your soul's dharma. Um, what you're meant to do here in the human experience, it could include any challenges and hardships along the way. No matter where you are in your journey, your transformation, your awakening, I do channel energies for what you can do, um, what source wants to let you know that you are doing well, you know, any breakthroughs, things like that. And, you know, general energies, yeah, just energies around the North Node. I mean, I think it's really what we um, do over the course of our human experience. So this is not, you know, anything that's like overnight type of a deal. But, um, yeah, I'm going to start out with the Hip Hop Tarot deck. This is actually um, Major Arcana's. So let's get some energies for you guys. The tower, we have Drake, the tower, okay? Mars energy, Uranus energy. Uranus is currently in the sign of Taurus. We have the world card, Beyonce, the world card. All the fixed signs are exalted here in this world card. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. The moon, Missy Elliott. <laughs> Hidden, Piscean energy. We are in Pisces season right now. I'm recording this on the 19th of February. So just off the bat um, with these energies, the tower, the world, the moon, and ending. Um, ending of cycles, um, I've been saying that with ever since Saturn and Jupiter have transited into Aquarius, that collectively cycles would be ending. Um, just, you know, on the, the grand you know, scheme, the grand scene. Um, also individually, we would be um, ending, closing out cycles as it pertains to our healing and our soul's journey. So for some of you, this could be very uncomfortable with that tower energy now it doesn't mean that it's negative it just means that it may, may have been shocking kind of jolting destabilizing but it's the world meaning that it was a natural cycle ending it was nothing that was forced the universe came in to close it out for you and us as human beings we interpret that we you know we can see that as like something being very abrupt or catastrophic um the moon energy here is uh telling you that it could have been um source or you know higher power coming into help heal you, help show you your own shadow since moon uh, represents shadow energy sometimes, confusion. It also uh, rules the sign of cancer. So can cancer is um, feminine energy. It's like the mother of the zodiac. So this consider like source energy, higher power, like mothering you, nurturing you, taking care of you and helping you um, begin anew by closing out a cycle for you. Okay, so it's motherly love, maybe a little bit of this tough love or it could feel like that, but I'm definitely getting that this is like a very healthy, much needed ending that is closed out in some site, in some um, facet of your life. Okay. And something is on the horizon. So let's see what we get here. I'm actually going to also get a few Zodiac cards. Zodiac astrology cards. Um, so that's Zodiac signs, planets, and the houses. Let's see what we have here. The sun. Yeah, absolutely. So this is what's on the horizon for you. The sun is actually in the tarot. It's the happiest card of the deck. It's Leo energy, fifth house energy, creativity, play, childlike energy. You know, really feeling like you can do anything. Um, and just being like... You know, feeling like you're you're in your purpose or you're going towards your destiny. That's definitely North Node energy. The 11th house. This is the house of Aquarius. We just left Aquarius season. There's a ton of energy in the sign of Aquarius. Last week, we had that huge stellium with like seven placements in the sign of Aquarius. Now we have like four placements, which is still a stellium. Still a lot of energy in Aquarius. Aquarius actually will be permeating throughout 2021 as i've been saying we're out of aquarius season in terms of the zodiac but that energy aquarian energy is definitely going to be um here for a while at least until the end of 2021 and now we have the 10th house the house of capricorn and saturn saturn is in aquarius okay so for some of you you could have your north node in the 11th house your north node in the 10th house your north node could also be conjunct your sun Okay, your son in, in Aries, since this is the Aries reading. 
um and this is like really beautiful energy you guys like when i was talking about cycles ending i definitely think that this is like you progressing towards something new in terms of like your maybe your career your profession um your reputation since that's represented with the 10th house that's where your midhaven is um you know long-term um, representations of yourself to the public the 11th house, the house of Aquarius, is um, friendships, partnerships, the collective, the community, humanitarian efforts. So really, again, um, up-leveling yourself in some way that is more aligned with your soul's purpose, um, being more impactful, being more magnetic with this sun energy, and just having an overall very, like, um, I'm getting healing energy. I'm getting, like, really, like, soft and warm energy with your aura. Um, now your south node sits in Libra because um, that's what's opposite to Aries. So with your south node being in Libra, that's very Venusian, very beautiful. Maybe that's what I was channeling a moment ago. Um, it really considers like the we, Aries is more so the I. Both are beautiful energies. But with that Libra energy, again, it could be a little bit self-sacrificing, that shadow side of Libra. And maybe that is what source has broken down for you maybe there was a cycle where you were overgiving codependent cycles okay feeling like you know your worth is tied to what you can do for people source maybe have come has come in and ended that for you you also have um uh what am i eclipse energy here with the sun and the moon here okay eclipse so very strong eclipse energy Ecl eclipse season doesn't start until june of this year but still that just kind of came to mind um and let's see what else we have here guys Let's jump over to the tarot. I'm using the True Heart Intuitive Tarot deck by Rachel True. What do we have? We have the Seven of Cups, okay? So a lot of decisions, a lot of, you know, maybe with this tower moment, it kind of triggered some confusion in terms of like what really does make you feel filled up from the heart space. Uh, remember, True Note is all about your dharma, which is your work. What are you meant to be doing? So maybe some of you are just feeling a little bit overwhelmed in terms of what what could you be doing that is going to give you the most, um, the, the highest feeling of purposefulness. I don't know if that's a word, but you know what I mean? Like feeling like you're very much aligned in, in your purpose. What could you be doing consistently? Um, Aries, Ener Aries energy is fire energy. It's ruled by Mars. So it's fast paced. It's masculine. Um, Aries energy always wants to be moving and, and doing something. It's a very pioneering energy, but maybe some of you aren't clear in terms of like what, again, for you, because remember Aries is the eye, your south node, what you do really well, what you were um, incarnated into this life with gifts and talents is Libra. So you're, you naturally figure out the we and you have 11th house here, that's house of friendship. So you know how to kind of satisfy a group, but what is going to fill you up as the individual? specifically for you Aries okay king of wands this is fire energy your energy kings are all about being in their power they are also allowing things to come to them I mean I know we say masculine energy is always like providing and doing but I think king energy is very much like receptive in terms of like I'm strategic I'm dominant I am knowing of my power my truth and I'm gonna let people come to me and I decide what's best for me so source is saying like, this is where you need to be. You need to be in your King of Wands energy to maybe get out of this Seven of Cups energy because it could be just like too much confusion. Seven of Cups is, I don't see it as a negative card, but it's also a card that, or an energy that will, um, that will signal that you're maybe stretched thin, right? Like there's, there's not focus in terms of what's bringing in abundance in a sense of fulfillment for you. There's too many options. So you need to narrow it down doing so in your king of wands energy may help you oops card fell in my hand princess of disc princess of um princess of pentacles okay so it's kind of like page of pentacles here in the divine feminine form an offer coming through someone could be bringing you an offer an opportunity to expand in your profession okay you have 10th house here and 11th house here it might push you forward a little bit maybe a little bit unconventional in terms of what you're used to but it's an opportunity to bring about more abundance in the physical realm to make more money since it is pentacles and it's clear excuse me clarifying tower and the sun card so maybe some of you have uh, left a, a job suddenly or with the events of 2020 um you could no longer work in that position or it wasn't as rewarding this could be another job offer maybe some of you were putting out job applications or this could be something sudden too like somebody offering you a position or an opportunity that you did not apply for Okay, and that could be the tower moment as well, because sometimes tower moments are just like really big, huge surprises that catch us off guard. It's not necessarily 
um, something being taken away it could be something just kind of coming out of the blue which will kind of destabilize us too if you were kind of looking in one direction and you had all these seven of cups options and then like something else happens and then all of a sudden you're like looking at another cup <laughs> that wasn't a part of the seven of cups if you know what i mean yeah because look you have the nine of swords insomnia card feeling um overwhelmed with your thoughts feeling you know it's like monkey mind on steroids um, also getting lost in what could go wrong. This is the what can go wrong narrative kind of replaying in your head. This could be the energies of after the tower moment. Um, it's coming out with the world card in 11th house, okay? World card again is ending. So maybe this ending, remember when I said we conceive it as something that's kind of tumultuous, we conceive it in our human minds as like catastrophe, but it could definitely be a blessing. I mean, this is a general reading. All of it's um, unique to you in terms of like what has happened in, in your own lives. But this nine of swords is like um this is more negative energy okay because it's destabilizing and it's stagnant it's not going to bring about anything new now let's see what else we have here oh my goodness eight of swords so self-imposed mental self-imposed mental imprisonment okay just being kind of stuck in your head you guys um north node and aries this could be you know maybe things have fell apart in terms of your relationships south node and libra really really um takes relationships seriously very loyal very honorable but remember the shadow side of that is it's over giving it's it's self-sacrificing so i think with this like ending maybe a relationship has come to an end or relationships have come to an end and this has put you into this um in nine and eight of swords energy okay 11th house energy is it's humanitarian it's giving but some of you could be in the shadow side of that Let's see what we have here that flipped Ace of Cups. New beautiful beginning coming that's going to restore you emotionally. A new emotional fulfilling beginning. Um, what do we have? We have two other cards that flipped in the deck. Hold on, let me see what... No, too many. Sorry, guys. Um, it was like a whole bunch that flipped over in one pile. Um, so I won't take these. But um, the one that flipped out kind of by itself, Ace of Cups. New beginning, um, water energy, Cancer's Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but I'm not really caught up on the signs here. It's more so like where this connects in terms of like where you are going. Aces are new beginnings, okay? So, and it's coming up the world. So it kind of confirms what I said about a cycle ending. This is your new beginning here. Um, and it's something that is going to really, really fulfill you. Whether or not you can see that though, I'm not sure. Because you do have the moon card over here and eight the swords energy it's of the intellect when it's nine and eight it's like marring of your own um reality like you aren't able to see things for what they are okay so let's see what else we have here you guys um ace another beginning ace of swords so you're going to get out of this mental fog what do we have here the devil yeah restrictions limitations obsessions addictions devil energy so this ace of swords here is to cut through all this devil energy um it's 10th house energy so you're really going to get back on your a game whether this is a new job opportunity or just a new opportunity to take on something new i definitely think that this is going to maybe increase your confidence in terms of like what your reputation is what your title is um what your brand is you know what you're portraying to the public and it's going to get a little bit clear but i think that this is like you know maybe going to take a little bit of time you know and that's okay Time is actually fluid. Um, the Hanged Man, yeah. Definitely going to take time. Card of Pisces. The Hanged Man is like suspension. It's kind of like a... a, a um just kind of like waiting for some, waiting for you to be enlightened, waiting for um, a divine download to come through and give you insight on where to move forward. Um, you know, hanged man energy, as you can see, like his crown chakra is being illuminated. And you do have the sun card right here. So it's like something's on the horizon for you guys. You're not there yet. It's on the horizon. You're moving towards it. That's beautiful North Node energy, actually. You know, when things are on the horizon, it gives us the opportunity to kind of release things, kind of like offload things that we don't need to carry with us into the next phase. Um, but I don't see anything in terms of like like pivotal moments. Like I, I usually like to channel like a lot of like pivotal moments, breakthroughs in these North Node readings, but I don't see anything like that right now. I just see that a cycle ending. It has recently ended or it will end in the near future. And then it'll be kind of like this transition period where you are really getting to the bottom of what makes you feel vibrant, you know, lifted up, magnetic, 
what brings you in a sense of um, accomplishments, um, reward, Aries energy does like that um, because it's the eye, right? It likes to be kind of like lifted up and praised in a way that um, gives it more, more um, like amp, more gusto. Not that you need it, but again, it's fire energy. So it needs to keep being like ignited some way, somehow. All right, so this is what I have for you guys. Uh, I hope that this resonates. If you have already subscribed to the channel, again, thank you. If not, please do so. Like the video if it resonates, or at least some of it does. Check out my email, my email, my website. I have um, all the information there for getting a personal reading with me, tarot readings, as well as your life path astrology readings with your natal chart. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next reading. I love you so much, and be sure to thrive. Bye.